Taylor are a magnificent fish and the beaches of Mandra south of Perth have schools running almost 12 months of the year. It had been a while since I've been here, but luckily I was with Bruce Redding from Gone Fishing Beach Safaris, who fishes this area at least twice a week. Well, Bruce, it's Taylor time. Why don't you show everyone the rig that you like to use? Right, I use three 3-0 three hooks gang together, nice little length of line, the trace slightly heavier than your main line, because we use, we're catching Taylor here, they've got big teeth. And they bite you off, right? They bite it off really quick. And I run a semi-running sinker, only short line, just gives you that better feel when they first touch it. Because your sinker's going to be buried in the sand, and so you just want that little bit of play there to strike and set the hooks when the fish bites, yeah? That's right, Steve, yeah. That'll bury, but you're still nice and free to move. Well, that's an excellent idea. All right, why don't you show everyone how you bait a muley up? No problem. It's quite easy. All you do is you lay your muley across your four fingers, just lay your hooks so like so. You can see where your three hooks are going to go, your start point, just get the muley straight in, straight through, go to your next hook, straight through, and then the last hook comes up into the gill area, the eye, or in the beak of the fish. All right, mate, let's do it. The sea breeze was just starting to waft in, and although it was only two in the afternoon, that usually signals the start of the tailor bite, which can last until dark. You only need to cast just past the breakers most days to find the fish. That's because Taylor normally feed on the small whiting that live in the gutters. Bruce was using his trusty Australian made alvey reel, but I prefer lighter spinning gear with braided line for extra casting distance. Like most fishing, it's probably best for you to use what you feel most comfortable with. I also like the braided line because I can feel every touch and it wasn't long before I had the first hit for the day. Oh, what's this? It's a tailor! Hey! Is our first one for the day? There you go, mate. First one for the day, and we only just got him. Oh, you very beautiful. Oh, oh, that's what you call lip. And look at those razor sharp teeth Don't around put there. Your finger in there. No, I'm not going to put my finger in there. Whoa, he snapped it shut on me. Now look at that, Steve. You're using a 5-0 hook there. He could easily swallow a bigger hook than that, couldn't he? That's right. No, I'm only using a 3-0 hook. See these needle sharp teeth here, and that's why they call them Taylor. They will easily go through your finger right to the bone. Now he's a bit small, over legal length. He's over legal length. But yep. uh, not too much meat on these. You can see how thin they are across the back. So we're going to put him back to grow a bit, and I'm sure there's bigger ones out there. But good start to the day. Good one. I've got a nice little rip running just out here on my left hand side. And it goes, probably goes out for about 50 metres, so I'm going to cast and I'm going to drop it right alongside the edge of the dirty water. And there's a slight gutter running through there as well. So just on the end of the rip and out into the nice clean water. And then I'll slowly retrieve back and see if we can get another one. And with a bit of luck you'll attack it either in the gutter or just as we come up the other side of the gutter. And he did. And he seems a bit better than that other one. Oh, you haven't got another one, have you? Well, it's a little bit better than the other one. There he jumps. Are you sure that's not weed? No, uh, definitely not weed. <laughs> oh, it's serpent down that oh, way. Wine, mate, wine. wine. You're going to keep the line tight, mate. You lose them. Oh, that's a beauty, mate. That's a ripper. Yeah. That'd be about a kilo, I reckon. Yeah, it's fish, that one. There you go, man. I reckon I'll, I'll give that one to you. You give me that one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, I should fit that on. 
I'll give, give that a try. I'll give that a try. try. You're the master. When in Rome, I think I'll take your advice. Yeah, well, you're down in my office now, that's, so... Uh, that's not a bad office either, is it, eh? Have a look at that. <laughs> right. That's the best view in town. <laughs> The bag limit for Taylor in Western Australia is only eight per person per day, but one or two large fish is a meal for any family. Our Taylor stocks are only just starting to improve again due to better management of this popular species. So fishing for the future means we'll have this wonderful opportunity to fish great beaches like White Hills for many years to come.